I didn't grow up elk hunting, and I just I love doing it because it's very challenging. It's you know so different from from whitetail. Uh, you know you're really kind of chasing the animal. Basically, from the time that we could go uh, with our grandpa and our dad, we've been hunting together. We're both kind of have the mindset of you just you do what it takes. It's part of Wyoming that I love. You can expect uh, long days, a lot of hiking. I think we averaged around 10 miles a day. The tougher the hunt, the more fun it is and the more memorable it is. When you go back and look on it, those are the hunts that you remember. She come out of break of night, the pink skies waving goodbye. She come out of break of night, leaving no traces around, around. Trying to free, just trying to free a reckless heart. Just trying to be a slide, slide as and breathe. Day four, um, we asked him, hey, can we try a different area? So we headed over there the afternoon of day four. If you're not willing to put in the effort, you're not willing to, to push through the pain, a lot of times it just won't happen. But if you do and you are willing to put that in, then those opportunities do present themselves. We saw the big one. We had seen the big one day, the end of day four. And I kind of had my sights on him, but also knew the chances were pretty slim. Most every bull had cows with them, whether it was a herd of 20, 30, 40, 50. We got on the backside of this mountain where most of the, the elk were. And we heard one bugle. I told Jared that if I can get him to come in, if I can call him in, that I'm going to shoot him. So I start cow calling to him and he starts bugling. He starts coming in and so I draw right away because he's coming straight at us. It wasn't a good setup the way the bull came in. I knew that, you know, when he had to draw, he took his time getting into getting into position where Josh would have a shot. I thought he was gonna have a shot sooner. You're trying to prepare as, as much as you can and then thinking, you know, putting yourself in situations like, okay, I can draw here, I can draw there. Finally, the bull moved over, and and I was worried uh, just because he had drawn, you know, he'd held that draw for so long. Archery, it's it's a a game of you know aim small, miss small, and um, you can't make any mistakes. Still drawn back and. He comes out into the opening finally. I think it's around two and a half minutes that I've been at full draw. My arms are shaking. I'm sure I pulled, but... Um, I shot him through the neck. I felt sick for him. I hate that feeling, and I hated that feeling for him. I was mad at myself for, you know, not stopping and, you know, just putting down, even though it was, might have been my only opportunity on that trip. Wait all year to do this. You draw a tag, you'll probably never draw again. Um, and then it's over like that. I would have been overjoyed to have found that bull. I was hoping he would bed down, uh, but for two hours he, he never did. And it, it just, you know, it looked like he was gonna make it. I was pretty excited to say the least. I mean, when the guide said, hey, you can keep hunting. Perseverance is the word that, that kept coming into our head. James talks about uh, perseverance that, you know, we need to stay the course until the end.
So that's what we did. Had a little bit more knowledge kind of on, on what the bulls were doing, what the elk were doing. I was pretty confident that we were going to be able to, to get on them again. Uh, basically, it was go time. We run into heavy fog, and so getting up onto the mountain was pretty difficult because there was elk just scattered everywhere. I mean, I, I've never heard so many bugles in my life. We finally get to the top, and we see the bull, our target bull, and we're looking to the, the northeast, and all of a sudden, there's like four herds of 50 elk coming our way. So there's, you know, 200 elk, and they come into this little, uh, this little ravine that all of our, the elk that we're watching are holed up, and they just pretty much blow them out. <laughs> it's like, I can't believe this happened. I mean, there goes the chances. I remember texting my wife, telling her that, hey, it feels like it's the bottom of the ninth, there's two outs, there's two strikes, and Nolan Ryan is, is pitching me, you know, there's not much chance here. There was a, a cabin, the biggest part of the herd, where the big bull was, they were probably a quarter of a mile away from there. But like Jared, hey, let's just get down there. Um, I don't know if we're gonna have a chance. Uh, but we'll at least be close to the elk. Probably the last 150 yards, we've got a crawl in our belly, and uh, we we get up to that cabin, and I just I'm kind of in awe of it because you know you can tell it's been there a long time. It's got no roof, and I kept telling Jared, I was like, man, wouldn't it be awesome if we killed a bull like straight through one of these windows? 30 minutes later, there was a a bull uh, walked by, but he kept going straight north. All of a sudden, Jared's like, there's a bull over here. There was a crack in the, in the logs of that cabin where I could see through, so I put the camera up there, hit focus on the elk. I couldn't even tell if it was in focus or not. That's the bull. I draw back and he's right there. 15, 20 yards away. Part of it was disbelief. I mean, just the the way it happened, the, you know, being in a cabin in the middle of nowhere um, and having the bull walk right by that cabin. And not just a bull, but the bull that, uh, that you wanted. I'm freaking out. I'm grabbing Jared's leg, he's trying to film, uh, continue filming, and I'm just in amazement. Thank you, Jesus, oh my word. Jared, can you believe this? You know, mistakes don't define who you are as long as you learn from them. I felt like this was, you know, this was a group effort. Yeah, I pulled the trigger, but this was, this was Jared and I's bull, um, and that's really how I look at it. Thank you, Jesus. I cannot believe it. That's insane. Thank you, It's not the, the easy hunts that, that you remember, it's the, it's the hard ones, it's the ones that, that push you mentally and physically, those are the ones that we remember. Unbelievable. You know, some people will say, oh, it was luck that you got that, um, but it's more about putting yourself in the, in the place to be lucky. It's miserable at the time, you wanna quit, you wanna, you wanna stop, but you just keep going and, and it just makes it so much more worth it.